This is your March roundup of GitHub Copilot features for VS Code 1.87. Let's go. Naming things is indeed hard. So we are gradually rolling out rename suggestions by Copilot. When you rename a symbol in the editor, GitHub Copilot suggests a list of possible new names for that symbol based on your code. We have retired the live preview mode and made live the default mode for inline chat. And this means that suggestions are applied directly in the editor and changes are highlighted via inline diffs. The microphone icon to start voice recognition in Copilot chat is now always visible. When the VS Code speech extension is not yet installed, selecting the icon first asks you to install the extension to enable speech to text capabilities. Now, if you don't want this feature and you don't want to see the microphone, no worries, just right click and select hide. When you use the VS Code speech extension to fill the chat input field with your voice, phrases such as at workspace or slash fix now translate into the respective agent and slash commands. And this works in both the chat view and in inline chat. Previously, if you were using the explain function, chat required you to first select the text to explain from the active editor. You can still do that, but you can now also place your cursor on an identifier to get Copilot to see the identifier's definition. As you can see here, Copilot can explain this function even though its definition is in another file. And if you didn't know, you can trigger chat from the terminal, yes, with Command or Control and I. This will open chat and add the at terminal chat agent. There's a new setting for this called Terminal Chat Location, which controls the terminal chat experience. And you can set this to Quick Chat if you prefer the previous behavior. And those are your GitHub Copilot release highlights for VS Code 1.87. We'll see you next month, and as always, happy smart coding.